Welcome to In Depth for a closer look at what is making mining headlines in the Americas. Gabriel Resources has received some good news on its delayed Rossia Montana project in Romania. Lisa Hill, our deputy editor, who is based in Toronto, Canada, uh, joins me to discuss this issue. Welcome to the show, Lizzo. Thanks, Martin. What is the latest on Gabriel and its project? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, uh, Gabriel has announced um, a big piece of news that really I think the company and its investors have been waiting for for a while. The company has received confirmation from the government of Romania that uh, the government will restart uh, the environmental review process for Russia Montana. Uh, the process was uh, suspended in September 2007, actually, and uh, Gabriel really has been working. Um, they, they've had a government change in Romania. Uh, Gabriel's been working very hard to try and, and get this thing moving again. Essentially what, what uh, happened was that uh, there's a lot of uh, opposition to the project from environmental protection groups uh, and that has actually translated as well into opposition amongst uh, some, some politicians in Romania against the project. In September 2007, uh, the then Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development actually suspended the environmental review of the project um, citing a, a legal challenge against another certificate that uh, Gabriel had received for the project, the urbanism certificate. And uh, Gabriel at the time, they argued that, you know, these two processes really had nothing to do with each other and, and were separate processes. But at the time, uh, this went ahead, the, the review was suspended and, and Gabriel actually, uh, because of that, the work that they had been doing on the project really ground to a halt. They, uh, they laid off some people um, in Romania and uh, since then, as I said, have just been working and waiting uh, to do this. They've also had some other legal challenges in Romania. Some they've dealt with. Um, they took, uh, they they brought a challenge against the government, um, a lawsuit against the government because of the permit uh, review suspension. Um, but now that uh, the now that they've they've gotten this good news, um, now now they'll begin to see the the environmental review um, go forward. The the uh, government committee will start by examining the project. Is there still a little of opposition to the mine? Um, there certainly is uh, still opposition, uh, at least from the environmental groups, according to the CEO of Gabriel. Uh, the one thing he points out, though, is that uh, a lot of times the project or the area is um, described as or portrayed as, he says, uh, you know, this uh, this. Uh, pristine wilderness, whereas in fact the Russian Montana area um, has been polluted um, extensively by historical mining activities um, and, and by uh, activities that maybe didn't uh, adhere to the international standards that Gabriel at least says uh, or is, is commit, committing that it will do. Um, another thing is that Gabriel will be using cyanide in its processes and that's something that has drawn a, a criticism. Uh, but the company says, you know, it, it's going to be, uh, it will comply with the European Union guidelines for cyanide use and, and that those guidelines are something that uh, Romania itself has ascribed to. So uh, we'll just have to see the, you know, the CEO of, of Gabriel, he says there are still some uh, legal uh, cases that are, that are uh, pending against the company, against the project. And uh, in fact, uh, they, they, it's likely that there, there may be more, he says, um, as the process goes forward. So where does the company go from here? I think, you know, the share price uh, when they made the announcement really jumped up. Uh, people were, were, were pleased to see this, this announcement that they've been waiting for for so long. But uh, it is still quite a, a process that the company needs to go through. Um, they, uh, obviously, the environmental review will, will proceed. That will take several months. And then uh, one of the things that Gabriel uh, put on hold when uh, the review was suspended in 2007 was its purchase of, or its slow down, its purchase of uh, surface rights for the mine. You know, it's, it's all very well to hold the mineral rights and get approval for the mine, but you actually need to own uh, the property that, uh, that, you, that you're going to be developing. And um, so that obviously is a long and, and often difficult process that the company will need to go through. Uh, it will then need to finance the mine, um, make sure all the studies are updated. So uh, the CEO, he says that, I mean, it could be shorter, it could be longer, but it's possible that Gabriel could be pouring gold from Russia Montana uh, within four or five years. It really is a, a big project. Um, it's uh, in reserves. Uh, it's got uh, 10 million ounces of gold, 47 million ounces of silver. Um, and, and so it, it, it once, if and when it starts up, it, it will be a, a, a big producer of, of gold and silver. 
Thank you so much, Lizzo, for your time. Uh, that was the show for today. Join us again next week for more news and mining on uh, developments in the Americas. Thank you so much. I'm Martin Joaquino in Johannesburg.